Most people in my community who have been paying attention even the least bit remotely have seen some of my profile. They've also seen some of my PowerPoint slides. Even the motherfucking president and his vice president have seen my PowerPoint slides on power poverty. The marvelous sheriff in the Indianapolis area did take 24 thumb drives from me, plus all my property, plus my life insurance policy, plus my driver's license, I believe. No, maybe they gave that back because that was in a different pouch. But my bank cards and everything I owned in terms of metaphysical world, uh, Catholic and Christian and metaphysical cards I carried in a pouch for my own prayer life, and openly all my Netscape from Japan. Every metaphysical necklace, which of course there was ten of them, and even any money I had, along with a brand new book on Wicca and, and pagan life that I was about to read, along with my journal that had the contact information for my life insurance policies and everything else, along with clothing that was really special to me, my hats my from my father, late father's estate, my belt buckles from him as well, and I got none of it back. And there was a sheriff in that particular situation who joked about that I wouldn't get it back, and lo and behold, that's exactly what he made sure happened. And I often saw my property being worn on them around the jail. Now, when you're in that situation, you can't really say anything to those bitchy women, but you want to pummel them the minute you're out of there. And the one point I used to make as I was alone in my cell up in a man's tower on the fifth floor under observation because I couldn't handle, handle how to handle a black man that was threatening me was basically, and they openly molested me there, but hey, what do we care, right? I'm just a guy. Just one of a million. But the point I used to make to them that I think that God really put in them is that any one of them could be pursued by a group of people who's connected to someone who's been in the jail. Now, there's no threatening on me because I've gone, in my, gone on in my life to the best of my ability, but they still cross the state line and pester me. And I'm constantly being played with by these white men who think they're so much smarter than me. And maybe they are. But that's not my point. My point is, in life we have people, we have women, we have men who change the way we do things, change the way we live, change the way we address things, but sometimes we have men and women who produce drama queen situations. And they ruin the plans that God has made for them. They ruin what people are supposed to do for them. And in life, they do this out of their own desire for manipulation, power, and control. So we're having this marvelous relationship and friendship with someone, and then a sideline person will start to hear about it and start to criticize it, start to comment on it, start to destroy it in the values of Satan. 